Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. Standing here is the DS3 Crossback E10. I know, that is a mouthful. And we are currently in Germany, and it's time to find out what is the top speed range of this car. I do not expect more than 130 kilometers, and that is because, well, this car has a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is okay. Um, but the trip from home to here, which is about 230 kilometers, I actually had to charge this car for five to 10 minutes just to make it here safely because, well, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. So, and I was driving 110 kilometers an hour. So that is not insanely fast or anything. So yeah, this car is quite thirsty. But as usual, it's time to charge up the car to 90% and then it's time to hit the road and find out what the range is. All right, the car is charged to 90%. Uh, not more because after 85% it will only charge with 10 kilowatts and that is ridiculously slow. Um, I put the car in sports mode like I will always do, uh, like I always do. Um, let's say some numbers. This car actually has a 136 horsepower engine, so that is not a lot. Um, it will do 0 to 100 in about 9 seconds. And it actually has a top speed of 150 kilometers an hour. So this car is not the fastest car in the world. But of course it's fast enough for most driving. Pretty much for all driving. Uh, what, I've, what I've done and I've never thought of before and I actually think it's pretty smart. Um, I've, I've put the uh, charging station that we will go back to <laughs> in the navigation. So I can actually see how far I still have to drive how far I can drive before I have to return. So right now it's only 31 kilometers. So that means I can drive much further than that. And I actually thought that was pretty smart. I should have, I should have think of that before, but hey. All right, we're doing 152. Again, it's the top speed is 150. Uh, the car will not go any more than 152 kilometers an hour. And the consumption actually says it's doing 40 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, 40 kilowatt hours. That means hey, we will not even reach 130 kilometers. But hey, we will see, we will just hammer it and I will come back to you. So the famous roadworks are still there even after all these months. Oh damn, Germans, why, why? Anyway, <laughs> we have to drive a little bit slower. So that means I have time to catch up. We are around 70% of the state of charge. I say around because nowhere in the car you can actually see the real state of charge. That is a downside. You probably get used to it, but I don't like it. Anyway, so we are at around 70%. That means we, we have used 20% and we have driven 25 kilometers. So if you do the math, you will do how it looks like now, you will do 125 kilometers on one state of charge. Uh, normally the second half goes a little bit faster, so we're probably not even going to make 120 kilometers. What I gotta say though is that, well, this car is comfortable and quiet. And I'm really surprised by it because, well, it is a relatively small car, but it's still really quiet in here and it is super comfortable. I really like that. Anyway, when we can hammer it, I will get back to you. All right, here's an exit. And if I would turn around here, I have, I have to drive 45 kilometers back and I'm at 40 kilometers now. And I'm around 60% state of charge. I don't know what to do, to be honest. Turn around here or go one further. I think I go one further. I'm just going for it. Uh, let's hope the next exit is not that far. Man, I've, I've driven here a few times, but I still don't know where all the exits are. So let's see, what do we say from 46 kilometers, we go to not too far, hopefully. Well, if he thinks I'm driving on the wrong side of the road, I'm not driving on that road, but on this one. Come on, Jeep, you're doing 135, hammer it, man. Okay, 45, routes being changed. Am I lucky? Jesus. Well, I shouldn't say that. Go out of my way. Go out of my way, man. The route's been calculated. I probably don't have any data. Oopsie doopsie. No connection, I mean. 
for 52, so not that much further. I will probably turn around there and then we head back and then we drive past the charger a few kilometers and then we turn around then, just to be safe. I mean, I don't want to run out in a place where I don't know where all the chargers are. That's not a good idea at all. So we're going for this. We're going for this exit. We're still doing 148, almost top speed. Close enough for me. Luckily, most Germans drive pretty far. We've driven 44 kilometers now and we are at 60% state of the charge. So we've used 30, around 30%. So again, 120, 130 kilometers should be possible. So that means I can actually drive further than this. Do I really want to do that? Do I really want to take the gamble? I, well, I just do it, man. I will just do it. I'll take the gamble. Otherwise, we have to drive a little bit slower to make it. That's the worst thing that can happen. Come on, from 50 to 62. Yeah, next exit, we will turn around. This is it. Very nice. All right, we finally passed the roadworks again, but now on the other way. What I, ha what I have noticed though, that the other way we had tailwind and now we have headwind. So that means the consumption is higher than when we went the other way. So the gasometer estimates that we have 48 kilometers of range left. We are at about 33%, but and we still have to drive 26 kilometers. And I assume that the gasometer will go down a little bit quicker than those 48 kilometers so I've, it was a good call to turn around over there and we will see if we can still drive past the charger or that we actually have to take the exit of the charger and then and then charge but 152 kilometers per hour steady here we go okay so the weather is getting darker the exit to the charger is in 1.3 kilometers, but the car has not beeped to me yet that the state of charge is low, so that means we have not passed the 10% state of charge. So we will go one exit further, maybe two. It is close though, it is 11-12%, so it will beep to me very soon. So we go one more exit, turn around, and we go to the charger, and there you will see the result. Okay! State update, the car beeped to me that state of charge is low. Um, the charger is still six kilometers away, 6.5, and we have eight kilometers left on the gasometer. <laughs> so we do maybe have to drive a little bit slower to the charger, just in case. We will arrive there with two, three percent. I don't know, but here is the exit. So we are close, we are close. I mean, I'm going to make it no doubt about that but still it's still a little bit nerve-wracking <laughs> it, it's always nerve-wracking I mean if you go 150 kilometers an hour you can probably just roll to the charger anyway but we do have to give it some power over here but yeah no of course we were going to make it no worry see you at the charger so we're back at the charger. As you can see, the weather is getting grimmer, but on this run, I have driven 115 kilometers with this car. On those 115 kilometers, I've used 82% state of charge. So if you do the calculation, that means on a full state of charge, so from 100% to zero, you can actually do 140 kilometers with this car. But as usual, we have to subtract the roadworks and sometimes you drive a little bit slower. So we have to subtract maybe 15 kilometers of that. So the conclusion is when you drive top speed, you can actually do 125 kilometers with this car. So if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. If you did not, please leave a comment below to see what I can improve. And then I would like to say now as always, thank you a lot for watching and to be continued.